Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's not Thursday, but I've still got a new beer for you. You can find me on Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tobejake underscore 69. The beer I've got for you today is log from Loggers Brewing Company. They're out of Shields, Michigan. This one is the Shields Sessions IPA. Uh, it's 4.5% ABV. Um, it should be pretty good. It's very fresh. Uh, this one says it's brew. It's uh, the the date on it is ten six. So I'm guessing that's when it was canned. Um, but I brought it home from the brewery today, right now, because um, I went there with my dad this afternoon or this evening. This evening. Don't forget to tell me your story. I like to hear your stories. Um, hopefully, you like to hear mine too, because that's what this thing is about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you get to so that everybody gets to hear what I got to say, because obviously everybody wants to hear that, right? Um, let's just get this thing started. So this evening I went to watch my brother's team, um, the, the Elma Panthers, wrestle in at, well, at Swan Valley. It's not really a place so much as it's, a group of schools that are all together that call themselves Swan Valley. I guess it's really in Swan Valley Township, uh, but they're they're not really a specific thing. My cousins went there, so it's fairly close. It's it's fairly close. Uh, but my brother coaches in Elma, which is where I work, um, and I got to go and watch Elma Russell because I like doing that. Usually they're pretty good. Today not as good as normal, but. I mean, they're they're reloading. Uh, they've got some good wrestlers and some wrestlers that are pretty okay and then some not-so-good wrestlers, but they're getting better, which is great because most of the wrestlers are younger. So anyway, this beer is a Session IPA, which means it's going to be low ABV. 4.5% uh, is what this says. I think it said 4.6 when, when we were having it this evening, uh, but 4.5% on the can, so obviously that's the one, right? Uh, it doesn't say what the AB or what the uh, not the IBUs are, but I'm sure that it's it's an IPA, so it's going to be a thing. Um, it's clear, which it should be. It smells like hops, which it should if it's going to be an IPA at all, um, which is great because that's what it's supposed to smell like. Looks like there's going to be some really nice um, lacing on the glass which is great because it's an IPA and it should do that. So if there's enough proteins in it, it will do that. Um, and there seem to be so far. It tastes crisp, mellow. Are those two, do those two things go together? I'm not sure. Um, I like it though. It tastes very nice. It's something that you can drink a lot of and not have to worry too much about it. Is it anything special? It tastes like a number of IPAs that I've had before. Um, the lighthearted, the all-day IPA, um, the... Uh, there's a couple of Hellas lagers that I can think of that this actually tastes like, which is interesting, but also not terribly surprising. Hellas lagers and um, I and uh, Loy ABV IPAs should probably taste a lot to get a lot the same. Uh, a lot of Hellas hops in in uh, Hellas lagers, so it's going to taste like yeah, it's going to taste happy. Um, I don't think this one's got Hellas hops in it, which is good, but also, I mean, it could and, and it would be fine. But it tastes light, which, as a session IPA, it should. It tastes happy, which, as a session IPA, it should. It's got a light body on it, which is fine. Um, it's delicious. Um, does this remind me of a story? Um, <laughs> uh, so my cousins went to Swan Valley, which is where, which is in the school district that this brewery is located in. 
they were very good athletes. Very good. Um, my my one cousin was named All State in softball, and the other one got All State in in baseball, and I, I think he got All State in uh, in basketball also. They were, they were very good. Um, I wasn't that good. I think my sister got All State softball academic all-state softball because she got a lot of really high grades and played softball her senior year. I don't think either of those cousins got all-state, uh, academic all-state. They're very good people. Just they, they didn't get great, get great grades. Um, they played very well at their sports though. My dad and I were looking for pictures of the, well, because my, my one cousin won a state championship as a baseball player there. And we couldn't find a picture of the team to go with their state championship trophy, which I thought was weird. Like there's no, like on the, on the label on the bottom, there's no, there's no etchings on it. Like it doesn't say coaches. It doesn't say players who started the game, top scorers, anything like that. I'm pretty sure my cousin was a pitcher. Um, and I'm pretty sure he started the game, but they, nothing like that on that and no pictures of the, well, I think there was a picture of the team, but it was in a different case and it was for districts or something like that. Like, cause they won districts, but like, I mean, you'd figure if you win a state championship, you're going to have your picture with something there, but that's not, that's not the case. They didn't have that in their case. Um, which I thought was strange because, I mean, my sister, I'm pretty sure my sister's picture is still up as an academic all-state in our high school, even though she hasn't been there in 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. I kind of almost be surprised if my brother didn't get academic all-state also. Because at the very least, in his senior year, his, in football, he was at least that good. Well... He played varsity football his his senior year and also was a very good student his senior well the first semester of his senior year trimester of his senior year because we did those weird things back then but a very good student and then also a pretty good football player actually I think he got um, he got all conference. Actually, the reason that he got all conference was because he blocked a punt against Elma and then scored a touchdown. And there were, it, everybody at Elma was like, what, you don't think this guy's really good? Because, well, I mean, he was a very good football player, but, like, overall football player, not, like, specifically football player, that he was good. Um, like, he could play any position on the field. Quarterback, center, all of it. Defense, linebacker, defensive tackle, defensive end. He could do all that junk, but... That's not, that's not a thing that people look for, for that. But if you've got a 3.9 per, or 3.9 GPA, that's the thing that they look for. And you can get all state because of that, um, which I'm pretty sure he did even at the end. Well, I mean, he got like, like super cancer his senior year, just after football, just before, like at the end of, like they found out during wrestling season, like just at the end of wrestling season, couldn't figure out why he didn't make states because he should have made states as a senior as a wrestler, but at 160, which is one of the hardest ones to make. But he did not because he kept getting gassed. The reason was because he had a, a, uh, a tumor the size of a small paperback book well, small, like a large paperback book, actually, like sitting on his chest, which it'd make me tired too. Um, but yeah, he went to, went into the hospital and they're like, you're sure you have that? Have you lost any weight? And I'm like, no, I actually gained a little bit because, you know, he's actually eating now because it's the end of wrestling season. But yeah, it was, it was a big deal. We got to go to, Di well, we went to Disney and we got really good deals on Disney because of that too. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. 
But yeah, so loggers. My cousins went there. I, I don't know if they've actually been there or not, but it's a good brewery in Shields if you're ever up toward Saginaw. So anyway, I've got a quote for you. Um, my quote is from Lynn manuel Miranda. Um, you, you may or not, may not know him. It's got a lot to do with uh, Hamilton and um, Moana. He said, You are perfectly cast in your life. I can't imagine anyone but you in the role. Go play. You're you. Nobody else can be you. Go be you. Please do that. I think it's great. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I like that and it makes me feel important. Um, you can find me at Untapped Twi Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Um, tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Hopefully you like to hear them too because I'm going to tell everybody everything. So go ahead and do that. I'll see you like next time when you got time for a beer. <laughs>